Hello, and welcome back to Traveler's Rest. I've decided to start my tavern all over. Um, there have been lots of updates and, and graphic updates and just the game looks fantastic. But I think it's just time to start over. So let's start our new tavern. I've already kind of created our little um, innkeeper, and uh, we'll just keep her, keep her, uh, what is this? Is this the Traveler's Rest? Is this like the name of the, the tavern? Oh, tavern name, okay. Oh, it's Neobog. Yeah, we'll just name it that. It's so usually my go-to. Uh, sure, let's, let's, uh, it's been a while since I've played, so let's play the tutorial. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The game is currently in early access, which means it is still being developed based on feedback. Okay. Yes, we will do that. Uh, left shift. <laughs> left shift, B, um, enter, okay, space. So, we'll move, we'll move. Left shift is to run. We're running. And B is to go into decoration mode. While in decoration mode, you can place items. Okay, so. Okay, we will. Let's. Let's put this a little closer to the door. Okay, and we'll gather these. It says Q and I can, oh wait. Enter decoration mode by pressing B. Yeah. Okay. Back to place. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, I put it in my inventory. That's what happened. So rotate. I want it like this. And so, uh, let's see, candle. Let's place the candle on top of the table. If you hear a squeaking noise in the background, my puppy has decided it is squeak time. Okay, uh, exit. Get closer to the book on the bar and press E to open your stock. Let me get out of this. Food stored. So whenever we uh, cook the food, we can put it in here and our bartender will... Oh my god. Will... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> our, uh, our bartender or we will... That's how we serve it. Sounds good. Press O when you're when you open the tavern to serve people and serve some gruel. Okay. Press H to view it. You have a quest. Oh. First customers serve six customers. Oh, there's a quest now. Oh, awesome. Okay, so is anything else different though? This is that. Because um, we didn't have quests the other time. Unlock the tavern one. Okay, and then we can start unlocking that. And unlocking recipes. Porridge. Uh, I can make some porridge. Bucket of water. Okay. A customer has uh, requested an item. Move close. Okay. There you go. I don't have any buckets though. I think I need buckets to get the water that's outside. There's some porridge. Hooray! Six customers have been served. Close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Okay, so let's press this O again, and we will tackle everybody to leave. Let me see. Okay, so set up the new table. Oh, we need to go into build mode. And, oh, uh, let's, I guess we'll put it, oh, nice. So they show you where you can't put things. Um that close to the bar. Oh my goodness, this dog. Okay. 
Open your tavern and serve new customers. Well, hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna put a candle, okay? Is the king himself coming? So tidy. So we gotta serve some more gruel. A table has become dirty. Okay. Woo! We served eight bowls of gruel. So now we can serve. Oh, we have some porridge and we have some grog. Okay. New quests available. H. Ooh, serve five bowls of porridge and five cups of grog, and we get. Oh my goodness. Let's put some porridge. Oh, no keg. Okay, open, and let's put some grog in there. Let's go change. Let's go wipe down this table. Is your table? No, oh, you're you're clean. What a lovely clean tavern. There we go. One of your customers is dirtied the floor. Oh, great. Great, you pooped on the floor. Oh, press V to highlight the area? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even read that part. It will highlight the important objects such as dirty tables, floors, dirt, and... Im okay. I've already cleaned it, but... Ah. This guy's dirty. Can I clean him? Five so oh we got a rug. A customer has requested a beer. Move to the okay, so we go and we get the beer taps. Oop, there it is. I should have put it on the end. Here. Let me grab this. I've learned a trick from playing before. Let's go clean this table first. Okay, I've learned a trick. If you if you pull all of the beer out, and you put it in here, you now you have several unique items in stock. The more unique items you have in stock, the more reputation and money you'll earn. Okay, it only counts towards. Um, not mean to swipe somebody with my broom. Oh, did he just pee on the floor? Well, that little guy looks like he's been rolling around in the mud. Ooh, I got an axe. So five mugs of grog. You've obtained a copper axe. Close your tavern and go outside to chop trees in order to advance your quest to gain new technologies. Nice. All right. Get out of here. Here. Last call.
outside your tavern, you'll find a post box to order supplies and deliver in a delivery box. The notice board to accept order requests, hire staff and check the calendar, a well to collect water, natural resources that allow you to craft <coughs> new items and harvest fruits and vegetables. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Here you can order items from your tavern. Simply select an item and add it to your basket or shift click. Okay. Um, I don't want to buy anything now. Because I have uh, not enough money. So um, what, is, what does the game want me to do? So this is where we... We can hire staff. This is the calendar. This is your calendar where important events will be noticed. Select any day marked with a red dot to view the events. Cut down five trees with a copper axe. Got it. So we cut down five trees with a copper axe and we got a copper scythe in a sawmill. Nice. You've obtained your first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear the weeds. Remember that you won't be able to use it if use it in decoration mode enabled. After building the saw, exit decoration mode, get close to it and press E to open up. Okay. Sounds good. So from what I remember the last time is um, these little, um, hold on, I don't wanna, those little tree uh, saplings that I got, I need to replant those. Um, let's make this area our little work area for now. So craft each. Uh, each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel time, and uh, recipe. So let's could do some wooden planks. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move closer and press E. Okay. So. Oh, it's going to make five at a time. That's nice. So it wants me to do 20 of them. Got it. <laughs> we fabricated 15 of the 20? Oh no, we fabricated 20 planks. So we got a pickaxe. Okay, so we have a, a copper axe. Nice. Ooh, we got little jewels. You've obtained a copper axe. Okay, so what does it want us to do? It wants us to mine four metal seams with a copper axe. Okay. Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. So that's one. Ooh, we've mined four me me mine metals. We, and so we got a uh, some rewards. We got a smelt, an anvil, and a stump with axe. So let's put those down.
You obtain the smelter in an anvil. When you build the smelter, a new working area de dedicated to the metals will be created. This area cannot overlap any of the other working places. Okay. Okay, so I've placed all my, um, my tools now, so let's see what else they have for us to do. Uh, craft 10 iron nails using the smelter and the anvil. Sounds good. I probably need to go to sleep soon. Uh, that's, okay, so I need some bars. Uh, click the firewood. Okay. What is this? Firewood. How do I put the fire? Oh, wait, fuel? F. Uh, firewood or foresty. Burns very fast. Okay. I need to make 10 nails. So I'll probably need some more iron. So now that we have some uh, bars in the smelter, we can, oh, we need two bars for five iron. Oh my goodness. Okay. I thought I had two bars. So we need to put fuel in the in the anvil, which is kind of bizarre, but okay. I have enough to make five, but not enough fuel. Okay. I only need to make 10, so we'll make we'll make those and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we made our nails. Um and we have a what is this? A workbench. Okay, so let's see what else they need for us to do. Uh craft a small table using the workbench. So okay, so let's put this down. Ooh, that's a big workbench. It's all right. Um, can we put this here? Oh no, we have to put it in one of these. Okay, not a problem. Small bench, right? And while that is, uh, I guess, while that's 
you're, I'm about to pass out. So we have to go to bed before three o'clock. So while that is brewing or cooking or whatever, building itself, let's go to bed. Our kitchen is uh, blocked off. Okay. Sleep. This is your bedroom. Sleep is the where you save your game. Like all old, old school games, you always have to sleep before you s uh, to save your game. So, um. We're going to do that. We're going to use the new save. This was our old tavern, and we're going to use our new save, a uh, new the new tavern. Uh, okay. Oh, should I make my bed? Do we? I don't remember if that was a thing. Okay, let's go check our table outside. Okay, now that we have all of our ingredients or our materials, uh, let's craft a small work table. The small table. We'll let that set and grab some more materials while we wait. So we crafted our small uh, table using the workbench and we got some paper coasters. Uh, now we can unlock our crafting room. When you're ready, close up and head to the north side of the tavern. Oh, I didn't open up, but now you can unlock crafting room. What? When you're ready, close up and head to the north side of north side of the tavern. Okay. Let's put this down. So FYI, you can you can uh, tap the T key, and it will change the style of some of the items. So let's go find that craft room. So apparently, when they're talking about the craft room, it's this area that has been blocked. Unlock the crafting room for forty. Ooh. I don't have enough gold because I didn't open up my tavern. Um, okay, I can't afford it. So let's open up the tavern and um, earn some money. We received a new reputation reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks a new item and uh, mechanics. So brewing and cooking tree has been unlocked. Just T to open. Uh, so we have the tech trees are now uh, to learn new recipes. So we have to call it costs skill points to unlock some of these stuff. So that's what those little jewels were that we were that we were uh, collecting. A logger? I don't have enough skill points. I don't know how ma many, um, how many it says that we have. 
Okay, so when I open up the craft room, craft room, unlocking the craft room found on the north side, we will get some, uh, some of this. I'm gonna have to make another small bench. Huh. Okay. Oop, table's dirty. Maybe I should clean it instead of trying to smack them with my broom. I should have enough money to open up the place. So we're going to close the tavern and kick everybody out. Okay, now we can open it up. Yay, we've unlocked the crafting room found on the north side of the tavern. We've gotten some barley and a bu some buckets of water. New quest available. Okay, this is your craft room. Let's make some porridge. Um... Buckets of water. It probably it needs fuel, so. Um, we're gonna put all of our coal in there because we're gonna use it. It's not like it's gonna go to waste. Uh, some recipes can be modified. This allows our extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. Got it. Porridge requires grain by dragging the barley from your inventory into one of the slots. This will create a bar barley porridge. Alright. Is that it? Accept. Wait for the porridge to cook. It will only take a few seconds. Oh, nice. And that makes 20... What did it give me? A malting machine. Obtain malt f uh, from your cereals. Craft it in the blacksmith table. Now let's brew some beer. Place the malting machine from your inventory and start crafting malted barley. Yay. Can I move this? Let's move this in the corner. Let's move this here. Oops. Malted barley. Maybe I shouldn't have put all of that in there. Oh, here. Why does everything... Okay. Uh, malting takes a while. You can reopen your tavern and serve the porridge while you wait. Sounds good. We'll take some of this beer out and put it in the little menu thing. That way I can just kind of cheat a little bit. <gasps> that, he just threw a beer on the floor. I'm going to knock you out. A customer's being rowdy. Huh. Oh, don't worry. Ma'am, I uh, don't think so. Calm down. Oh, no, the customer has become a nuisance. These drinks is watered down, ma'am. Get out of here. Tavern has become cold. Oh, god dang it. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Y'all can get out of here. Because I don't have fuel to put in the fireplace. And it's getting late. Okay, so now that it's nighttime and I don't have anything, anybody to worry about, uh, the other task was to make another small bench. So we're going to set that to, uh, <laughs> to prep and then we are going to go to bed for the night. And we made malting. 
So we got a brewing's barrel and some bitter hops and a bucket, some buckets of water. I say so. Create wort by boiling grains. Place the mash tun and create some mild wort. Check back later when it's finished. Okay, so let's put the brewing barrel here. And we need a fuel. And we will make some mild wort. Sounds good. Gonna make some more porridge. Except get that going. And then let's go check on our our um bench. <gasps> we get a cat? Look how cute these cats are. Oh look at that chonker. <gasps> Oh, look at those chunky cats. Oh, I want a fat one. Oh my god, look at this stinking cute. Oh my goodness, look at that white one. She looks like Marie from the Aristocats. Oh, we have to get her. A cat wandered into your tavern. I guess it lives here now. Yep, guess it lives here now. <laughs> you can buy a bed and bowl of water and keep it happy. Oh my goodness, let's go buy a bed and a bowl. Where where's the bed and bowl? Cat bed. Ooh, we gotta work work to get that. Oof. Also, we made one small bench. It gave us a candelabra and uh, some candles. So we made, we're making some boiled, some mild wort. We're boiling that right now, and um, buy a calendar. Okay, we just need to buy a calendar. We need to make some money. We need to buy our cats and stuff. We need to buy a calendar. Where is the calendar? Oh, we got a hustle. All right. Okay, large items such as tables and benches cannot be moved or placed in the tavern while it is open. Hold on, hold on. Peace out. Sorry. I want to put this first before I open, officially open the tavern. Alright, y'all can come in now. We made um, some what, some wort. Uh, for now, for the last stage, ferment formation. Place the formation tank and create a, some mild ale. You can add modifiers such as fruit and hops and give your beer a custom name. Nice. So that gave me an empty keg. It gave me some ale yeast and it gave me a fermenting tank. So let's do. Oh, I can't. My tavern's open. Okay, so. We will, okay, let's go, let's go finish up with this. I guess let's close up for the day and, um, we'll clean up. We should have enough money to, um, buy a, um, a bed and some, a bowl for the cat. And we will 
Uh, maybe order some stuff for the for the tavern. Um, we're going to re let's rearrange some of this stuff. So I want to kind of move this around again. Put the formation tank this way. We'll put this, and that way it's kind of like a in a row order. So I, you know, I like to organize my life over here. So we need to uh, open this up, get some fuel in it, um, and start some mild uh, ale. Let's put some bitter hops, and we'll get that going. We also need to buy a calendar. Oh boy. Okay. So we need to buy a calendar and um, let's go do that now. Well, I don't have enough for a calendar yet, so um, let's open up shop. Well, we made it to Reputation uh, Reward 2. Farming and Carpentry Tech Trees have been unlocked. Yes. So, what is that? So that is basic carpentry skills. We can, um, it'll unlock stuff for us to build, like a bed and all that, that fun stuff. But... So this is our gardening. Um, oh, okay. I guess I unlocked hops that I can garden and some roots, but I don't have a, they didn't teach me how to garden yet. So we won't, <laughs> we won't touch anything else. Oh, excuse you. Who's angry? Oh. Please calm down. Okay, I'll calm down. Thank you. It's kind of getting late, so we'll close up the shop for today. And then probably go resource gather while I still have... While I still have some time. So I had enough money for the calendar and we got a stone workshop. Nice. 
Let's go uh, place it. Ooh, that's giant. Okay. Well, I really wanted to place it a little closer to my other work areas, but these trees seem to be uh, a problem. So we'll wait for those to grow, and then um, I will try to have to rearrange all of that after I um, chop them down again. So we'll just place this right here for now. So what do we have here? We can make stone blocks and polish stones, which from what I remember is um, stuff that we will use to make um, extra rooms in our inn. So, what is our objectives now? Uh, craft my first beer, and then I will get a shovel. Cool. Let's go check on it. I think I had some brewing. Looks like the beer is done. Congratulations, I've brewed my first beer. Press X to view your tech tree and learn new recipes. Experiment with new ingredients and create your perfect brews and food. Nice. So now we have a shovel. Um, it's time to farm. The first thing you will have to do is to clear the grass off the area of the land with the shovel. To do this, the select a shovel in the action bar. Okay, so basically we just go and dig some holes. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's make some more porridge. Let's make some more barley. Um, can we make... No, we need to ha let that brew first. Okay. So since it's late, we will go to bed and uh, start farming in the morning. going to start um, kind of layering on top of layers of what is brewing. That way we can just kind of start pumping out um, the beer. Let's pet our cat. Let's see if anything came in the mail. Ooh, we have our calendar and we have the cat bowl. I didn't have enough for the bed. So, while we're outside, let's go get uh, some more buckets of water. And um, my pockets are starting to get full. So before we open up, let's get our cat bowl and let's get our calendar on the wall. Now that we have our calendar and stuff on the wall, let's fill the bowl. Uh, let's look at the calendar. Uh, next trends. Oh, we don't have... Okay, this, so that's level 8. Okay. So let's put our porridge in. Uh, we have some mild ale. Oh, no kegs. Let's put the keg in. And let's open for the day. I think we can still place candles while we have people here. We're gonna have to order some more candles. Already peed on the floor.
check on the food while we, while we, uh, let's see, let's get that going, uh, what do we need, not enough fuel, oh, somebody's mad, Go. sorry, that was loud. Oh, no, sir. Please calm down. <gasps> um, get... Whoa! Did y'all see that? She smacked him good. Get out of my bar. Oh, did I run out of porridge? Okay, get out. Know who's making a fuss, but y'all need to stop. locked up for the day let's go and let's see let's clear 10 it needs 10 um a 10 by 10 or a 10 area we're going to do it on this side i guess or you know what let's make our farm across let's make it right here It wants 10. Oh. Oh, okay. So, wait a second. So... Clear 10, that wasn't, that was kind of weird. 10, cl clear 10 squares. And so we got a copper hoe. Uh, now that the land is free of the grass, it's time to fill, till. Ugh. Okay. Well, let me finish doing this first. Because I want it to be even. Okay, so we can make like little rows, but still keep, interesting, I like it and I don't like it. Awesome. So prepare a farm field by tilling 10 squares. So it gave me five piece, five corns and five barley. Okay. Crops will grow over time in three stages. Once fully... Okay. Nice. So we still don't have to... Um, water? Which is great. I mean, I'm not complaining about that part. Okay. So, uh, we'll wait and then we'll harvest them and they'll give us a grinder. Perfect. Let's order a cat bed. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, we've opened up a new tavern. We earned some money. We have a cat. We have uh, started our own little garden, 
and um yeah so let's keep going and um i will see you guys next time bye